Hey, Joe. Joe Tacopino, famed defense attorney, long time dear friend of mine from our days at Poly Prep back in the uh, early 1980s. And now, again, has gone on to uh, super stardom as a defense attorney here, not just in the United States, but uh, in Europe as well. He's on his way to court this morning, but a big story that we've talked about today, besides the Bachelor and the Jets, is uh, this Brooklyn DA, this Psycho Gonzalez. Eric Gonzalez, who wants to basically free criminals. Now, for defense attorneys, that may be good news, right, Bernie? They fight like hell just to keep criminals out of jail. Well, yeah. Actually, <laughs> if he, he succeeds in his policy, maybe it's bad news because oh, now that's they will, true. They will, they will, they'll be out of work. They won't need them. Because they have to actually have the prosecutor, the guy who should be locking these people up, saying, no, we're going to let him out. Right. He I mean, did say for murders and rapes uh, well, no, most let, of the time. No, let me, he, he, this is a mealy mouth statement about murders and rapes. He goes, the serious cases, you know, rapes and homicides and serious assaults, I fully expect that we are going to hold people accountable. And most often, that is going to look like prison time. Most often. Oh, that's really uh, benevolent of that's you. Uh, like, helping out the victims, you creep. Brooklyn DA, Eric Gonzalez. Here he is, uh, the great Joe Tacopino on his way to court. Good morning, Joe. How are you, pal? Good, guys. I could see you taking a real intellectual dive into this very important <laughs> issue here. Well, that's why so we have you. Right. That's why we, we wanted to get you on. Yeah. So but when you hear what this guy Gonzalez wants to do within uh, 2020, which is basically free the prisoners, you tell us, Joe, what are we missing? Well, yeah, the whole point. No one's freeing the prisoners. They're not saying open the jails, let everyone out, and give everyone a big hug. That's not what this is about. Come on. You guys, I mean, look, I, I get what you're doing, but this, this is basically taking a broader approach to law enforcement and how offenders are punished. And in, 2020, and in 2020, we need a broader approach. There is a serious over-prison population problem. I mean, when I was up for Meek Mill in Philly, half of the people in jail in the city of Philadelphia, half, were in jail for technical violations of probation. Okay, nonviolent offenses, uh, they were late for a probation officer appointment, they're in jail. I mean, that does not do anyone any good, Joe, not the taxpayers, Joe, not the community, not the family. Uh, uh, Joe, most, mo most times you hear of these horrific crimes out in the street, the perp has like a, a, a 20 arrest record uh, rap sheet. <laughs> I mean, it happens all the stinking time. Build more prisons. Build more jails. You can't let no, these people out on the no, street. No, Look, remember the no, cash, the, the Kennedy Foundation? Let's post bail for these uh, poor guys. They can't afford it themselves. How many of them did not show up in court? They curtail that program. That's, that's, that's not the answer, letting these Bernie, people out in the street. Bernie, Bernie, no one is saying, and you got to, come on, I want, I want you guys to read this. I, I can make a bet right now that neither of you read the entire 52-page report of D.A. Gonzalez. And by the way, it's not just Eric Gonzalez. No, no Jill read it for us. Yeah, it's exactly, and you're wrong. It's also New York State, former New York State Chief Judge Jonathan Littman, who's on this committee, who's, who's pushing this initiative. That's a very, you know, conservative former chief judge. This is not all about liberals and letting people out of jail. I mean, this is about prison reform and doing something that's contemporaneous with our society now. It's not saying someone who's a violent criminal doesn't get jail time. It's not, it's not, if they're talking about offenses like marijuana offenses, people are in jail for marijuana offenses. I mean, if, if, if this were the way we conducted our criminal justice system, there'd be no one left at, at the Sid and Bernie show to do the damn show. Well, you know what? I, mean, I got to tell you, you just you just completely changed my mind because I'm being completely honest. I'm capable of doing that when I hear facts. And, you know, if you're telling me that, you know, you believe that the prisons are too crowded, I'm with you. Even a lady like Alice Johnson got pardoned by Donald Trump uh, not that long ago because she was in jail for like 30 years over a stupid marijuana sale. If you're talking about people not committing heinous crimes that are being kept in prisons, overcrowding prisons and making it worse for all of us, then you're right. That's all it is, Sid. If you read the report, nobody, Eric Gonzalez, who is a, a very good DA, believe it or not, is, is not saying, oh, let everyone out. Like, you know, someone commits a rape, got bit, a murder, uh, a violent crime, a, a robbery, an assault. Just let them walk out of prison. Let's give them, you know, some, some, you know, educational classes. No, he's talking about other types of crimes that really tend to, to, to put a strain on our system that we're not built for. And, and that's what we're talking about here. This is not about violent criminals going free. But is it possible, but is it possible, Joe, is it possible that uh, you take a guy who hasn't committed a violent crime yet, okay, and under Gonzalez's new uh, deal here coming up in 2020, that guy gets let out. 
then he does commit a violent crime. Then how do you go back to that family or the victim and say, hey, look, the last time he did something, it wasn't all that bad. How do you do that? This is it. Everyone who commits a violent crime for the first time, there's no, there's no indication necessarily that they're a violent criminal, right? I mean, yeah. it happens all the time. Yeah. When people murder. I mean, so if someone gets locked up because they, they had a pound of, of marijuana on them because they were going to do their radio show at 5 in the morning and they wanted to be loose for the show... And, you know, they got arrested and put in jail. And, but this initiative let them out of jail because that's not really what our prisons are, are, are equipped for. And our society is not equipped for that. And then they go out a, a month later and kill somebody. There's no correlation to someone who's smoking a joint and someone who's going to decapitate somebody, you know, in a target or something uh, like no, that. But I mean, that that's there's, it. there's no correlation. You see it all the time. You see the guy trying to push somebody onto the tracks or something, and, and he has, uh, again, 15 ar- a prior arrests, and he was let out on a $1,000 cash bail or something stupid like that, ridiculous. If you err on the side of leniency, innocent pr- people will be victimized. I guarantee you that. Is, yeah, but this is not er- – first of all, I don't see that old Bernie. I was a prosecutor, as you know. I'm a defense lawyer. I have not seen anyone with 15 der- convictions – who committed a violent crime get out on a thousand dollars bail? They don't get out, okay? They just don't. That doesn't happen. But, 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 let, it's, this is not error on the side of leniency. It's erring on the side of reform. We have to adapt to our society's needs. We don't have enough prison space to keep people in jail for 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 technical violations of probation, for misdemeanor offenses, for a, a second DUI, for a marijuana offense. We just don't have it. And and it's not, by the way. What our society needs, it, it rips the guts out of society. I mean, I know this is not easy for you guys, based on your politics, to comprehend, but, you know, you're taking someone away from their family, someone away <laughs> from the shot? community. No, that's not a shot. That's a fact. I love you guys. You know that. You're my brother. No, listen, you changed my mind. I, 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 you've completely changed my mind. When you sit, you know, you, you listen, there's always that knee-jerk reaction. What do you mean you're letting criminals go? But when you really think about it, not, and you presented the not, case to Bernie and I, I'm more on your side now than uh, than I was earlier this morning. I was all so. for prim- prison reform. I'm, uh, I supported the Trump's uh, first step act that he signed. All of that stuff. This is for people who commit crimes before they're even convicted. Let them out early. This is not about prison reform, letting people out who have no, that's spent too true. much that's time that, in jail. That's not true. It's both. It's both. Well, people don't get Not according to the article, anyway. Okay. okay. All right. Well, listen. I, I, I think this is a good initiative. I really do, guys. I don't think this is going to be a situation where victims are saying, oh, my God, my, my husband was murdered by some lunatic, and now he's walking around the street in some community service program. That's not going to happen. Please, believe me. Okay. Listen, great as always. Uh, good luck in court today. Thank you for a great performance. Fire it up. And terrific job. Thank you, Joe Tacopino. We love you. My Thank man. you. Okay, boys. Excellent okay. job. The great Joe Tacopino. We'll take a break.